I'm Kate with CrateInsider.com and today I'm here with Terry Johnson from Fast Ignition. And Terry, tell me a little bit about what we're looking at. Tell me about the system. We love it at Crate Insider, but tell me what a racer needs to know about the Fast Ignition systems. Well, Kate, as you know, we've been making digital ignition for over 25 years. And the great part about that is we design and we 100% build these ignitions in Florida. It's not something that we buy and put a label on. We know it intimately, everything about it. And when we listen to the racers tell us what they desire, what their needs are, and our experience at the racetrack and with engine builders, we design our product to meet that need. And what we've done with our ignition is we've built one specifically for short track. And, and we've done a lot of things to it to accommodate the racer, uh, not only in the way it fits, but in how it operates. Well, and that's fantastic. One thing I noticed with, with this, both the distributor and with the ignition box, is I'm seeing weather pack connectors. And I, the, one of the biggest problems we see in racing is wiring. I mean, nobody wants to be an electrician. So, so what can you tell us about, the, is there any secret about the weather pack connectors? Well, there's no secrets, and uh, actually we've tried to make it as user-friendly as possible because all of our ignitions are shipped with weather pack connectors on them, and we use a specific color code in the weather pack so that if you don't have that connection in the car already, it will be easy to mate because we use industry standards for a color code for every specific location on the plug. And that's great to know, not to bring in another competitor into this, but you know, there are a lot of guys that will have an MSD ignition or distributor. And I, what can you say about the fact whether your box will work with, will your items plug and play with each other? Sure. Well, you know, um, uh, we speak about this MSD all the time uh, because there's a lot of people that use that product and uh, um, we support that as well um, because when we design our product, we make certain that if you buy an ignition, it will work with any magnetic distributor, no matter what you're using to trigger it. And then the same with our distributors. If you already have a competitor's ignition, it will trigger that ignition as well. So yes, it is, a, you can uh, use items that are not of the same manufacturer, but where we do stress that you try and use uh, the, the same company product is our ignition with our coil. And if you're using the competitor's ignition, we strongly recommend that you use their coil because they're mated together for optimum spark energy at the plug. Great. Now also talk about with the distributor, talk, talk about how it may be a little bit different than the other competitor's distributor? Well, we, when we designed our distributors back in the early 90s, uh, we actually targeted um, uh, NASCAR, and at that point it was Winston Cup, and, uh, and we actually came with a distributor for that application before we ever made a street distributor, um, and which was very difficult to do. We, a lot of R&D went into it, and what we did was we took that pro-race distributor that we made back then, and we actually made it affordable to the crate racer. And, and what we did was by making it affordable, we used all of our technology, all of our tolerances are just as strict, but we just took some of the features out that that race ar arena needed and crate arena did not need. But our distributors are extremely accurate with a timing light, and no matter how high an RPM you turn, we're stable timing, and that's what you want for horsepower and torque. And I love this, I, I believe it's also what is the opti optical sensor technology rather than a sweep. Um, that's, I think that's really cool. So it, basically we've seen it hits a dot at every single time. It hits the exact same spot with a laser, whereas with an other distributors it sweeps around and, and you can see in the inside of the distributor when you pull the cap and you'll see a line there instead of a, of a dot. It's just more accurate, is that correct? Uh, yeah, that's a good way of uh, layman's terms of yeah. putting it, okay? <laughs> so you've done well. Um, but yes, uh, we use an optical emitter sensor as our triggering device. Uh, but the nice thing about that is, is uh, electronically we create a magnetic signal that the ignition needs to see. And by doing that, we create a square wave and so truly it's an on-off signal, extremely accurate. That's why with a timing light, we look very stable in the car. Excellent. And another feature that I've really liked too and heard great feedback about is other guys when they're when they hit the rev limiter, when they hit the chip and you you hear this where it's like eh, and then it just like drops off a cliff. Tell me about how your ignition box is a little bit different and how it handles that. Mm -hmm. 
Well, our rev limiter back in probably 1995 when we designed it, it's a long time ago, but that's how long ago it was that we actually designed it. We've, we've actually perfected it since then even more over the years, but what we've done is, um, because we were a cam company as well, and so we make valve train parts. Well, t we would hear cars at the rev limiter and they're doing extremely hard uh, things to the motor. Okay, it's very detrimental to the life of the motor on the valve train. And so we decided, let's not have a rev limiter that does that. Let's take care of the top end of the motor. Plus, when you hit rev limit, it makes you feel like you're going backwards. And we said, why are we doing that? All we want to do is, is to rev limit the car. We don't want to go backwards. So what we do is we use an algorithm that goes bank to bank, alternating cylinders, never dropping the same one twice in a row. So what you don't have that loading of a cylinder to where you hear a popping and banging. Most people will tell you that sounds more like a flutter than it does a, you know, a pop and a bang. And, and again, because it does, it's easier on the motor, but at the wheel, the driver will tell you, I'm not sure if I actually feel the rev limit because it's that so soft on the motor. That's excellent. And there's one last thing too, is the, you've announced something new with your ignition boxes, um, a new feature. What can you tell us about that? Well, we're actually excited about this because um, our, our boxes, we make them 100%. Uh, it's our designs. We build them. We seal them in urethane. So truly, you can't do any repair work on them once you've done that. But what we have found over the course of the last 15 years is we have little to no return. They just don't fail. They're very, very resilient. And that's whether you're in the paved short track or dirt track. It doesn't mean you know, that's a violent arena in the dirt track. Uh, they just weren't breaking. So uh, the company had decided this year that uh, to original purchaser, all of our ignitions now come with a lifetime guarantee to the original purchaser. Wow, that is incredible. So if you want to go ahead and get started with these fast ignition items, we have them at CrateInsider.com. And wherever you're seeing this video, you'll see a link to those products. Thank you so much, Terry. Thank you guys for watching. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. You can find fast products in our online store at CrateInsider.com. Just follow the link in the description. If you like what we're doing here, hit that subscribe button.